Hey, welcome back. And this is going to be a second Amiibo pickup video. And I know not, not everyone's into these Amiibos. Um, so that's why I want to put them in a separate video. And if you're into Amiibos, I mean, this is great. Uh, I am I have caught the bug. And as you can see my, from my last video, and you know, if you haven't seen my last video, go check that one out. And then come watch this one, because this one I got a lot of rare characters in this one. So anyways, or check that one out after this one, whatever you want to do. Um, I will say I have yet to pick up uh, the common characters. I have not picked up Mario yet, Peach, Kirby, Donkey Kong, Zelda, y um, Yoshi. I have not picked up any of those characters yet. And the reason being is at some point, especially with the next wave coming out, these characters are going to start disappearing off the shelves and they're going to have to start clearing these ones out. So I figured when these stores are clearing these characters out, that's when I want to buy them. Uh, so I'm waiting for like a, a, a 3 for 30 that like Toys R Us has done before or buy two get one free or something because dropping $14 on these characters isn't cheap and the common ones, I can wait. <laughs> so anyways, I actually, the very first uh, couple of Amiibos I'm going to show you, I actually pre-ordered these on bestbuy.ca and on futureshop.ca and I will say that I will never ever pre-order them on either site again. In case you don't know, Future Shop and Best Buy are the exact same company here in Canada, just under different names. They ship out of the same warehouse, they use the same packaging, and at least with Amiibos, they don't pack package them right. And I'll show you a perfect example right here. What you're looking at right now is actually a Sheik that I pre-ordered. And basically what happens is they stack two Amiibos on top of each other, which fits in the box perfectly. And then if you order a third, they put it on its side and force the box shut, causing this big crease. Now that is actually not a big issue if you're planning on opening it up. But if you're planning on keeping it sealed, you can kind of see where the issues come up. So anyways, I had pre-ordered um, five new characters. And out of these five characters only two were in good shape. And these are the two I'm going to show you right now. very first one here is Sonic. And in case you haven't noticed, right here, I'm a big fan of Sonic. And that goes all the way back to the Sega Genesis. And I used to play that game non-stop. So when they announced a Sonic Amiibo, I was very excited to get him. Unfortunately, he's not the Sonic I, I grew up with. He's more of the, the more modern-day Sonic. Uh, he still looks great, though. And I'm, I was really happy to pick him up. Next up, obviously, when so you pick up Sonic, you got to pick up Mega Man. And for some reason, I had a hard time initially finding Mega Man. But, um, like I said, I pre-ordered this one, and then I just didn't see him in stores. Then I started seeing him pop up here and there, and he's not as rare as he, as he used to be. But this character looks absolutely amazing. He's spot on to the video game character, and he looks great. So if you're a fan of Mega Man or Sonic, go pick these guys up, because they both look amazing. Next up, um, in case you haven't seen any of my pickup videos, um, I did a trade with a buddy of mine. And usually what happens is every Monday I go to play basketball after work, and... I had to stop off at a Walmart and pick up some water because I forgot to bring some. So while I was there, I figured, okay, I'm buying this water. Let me go check out the Amiibos. Now, when I got there, I was pleasantly surprised because I found three rare Amiibos. The very first one was Rosalina, which in Canada is not a Target exclusive. Because Target's closing down, uh, the rights to Rosalina got put over a whole bunch of different companies and Walmart was one of them. I know GameStop and EB Games was another one. And uh, I'm not sure if Best Buy or Future Shop got her, but I know those two companies there got them for sure. Uh, but anyway, I found a Rosalina and as I mentioned in a pickup video of mine, I traded her off um, for a little bit of money. I traded her and Mario Kart for um, Fire Shark and a little bit of cash. So uh, my buddy was really happy. He just got into picking up Amiibos as well. And I think Rosalina was his first rare Amiibo. So I was glad I could give it to him at a, at a great deal. So anyways, the two other characters that were there that I found um, were actually pretty hard to find. I've never seen these characters other than at this one place. Except 
Well, you know what? That's not quite true. We'll get into that. This one here I've never seen anywhere else, and it's King DDD. And again, he looks spot on. He looks amazing. So I had to get him, obviously. I'm, I'm undecided as to if I'm going to uh, just go for the Smash Brothers or pick up that new line as well. I have them pre-ordered, but I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them. So, anyways, we'll see, you know, come March 20th. But, anyways, um, King DDD, like I said, I found him at a Walmart, great price, because in my area, I think he goes for around 50 bucks. Next up is Ike. And this is another character that is hard to find. I've seen him actually elsewhere. I have seen him at GameStop. And I went into a GameStop the day this was released, and I asked them, do you have any extra Ikes? Because I saw them all on the floor. Um, Ike and Shulk, I saw all over the floor. I was like, do you have any extras? I want to buy some. And uh, unfortunately, all those Ikes and Shulks and all those other characters other than Bowser were all for pre-orders. So I, I missed out pre-ordering them. And, you know, I asked like, the cashier, okay, if someone doesn't pick up these pre-orders, uh, do they go on sale to the public? And she said yes in a, in about a week. So she said, give me a call next Friday, and if there's anything left, then you can purchase it. So anyways, I phoned up the following Friday, and sure enough, everyone picked up their pre-orders. I wasn't able to get Ike, but like I said, I found him, and I found him at Walmart, and I'm very happy because... This was one of the characters I really wanted to get. And I know the next wave that comes out, the next Smash Brothers wave, there's two Fire Emblem characters that are coming, and they're going to be hard as hell to get. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard. to. It's, it's fun when you find them, but it's a pain in the ass to find them sometimes. Next up, my fiancé picked up a fox for me. And this was a character that I actually thought was pretty common at one point, and then it just flew off the shelf, and you never saw him again. You know, one day you'd see a ton of foxes on the shelf, and then the next day, they're all gone. So I don't know what happened, but he disappeared. And, you know, my fiancé was nice enough to go online and pick him up for me, and she, I didn't even ask her what she paid. She just told me she got a really good price on this, so I'm happy with that. <clears throat> Next up, this is the one that kind of, uh, <laughs> it's Lucario, and I have had two shots at getting this guy, because they were, Lucario was released in the U.S. first, prior to Canada, and the day I picked up my Rosalinas, um, we went to Toys R Us to see if they had any, and they said, pre-order only, none available, blah, 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 great. A little while later, a few days later actually, I was back in Canada and I saw an ad um, for, in the Toys R Us flyer. And it said minimum 25 per store and one per customer. So you can't hoard all these things. And I thought, great, I have a shot at getting this guy. And sure enough, obviously because I have to work, I I can't stand in line on a, on a Friday and wait for something like this because I have a job I have to go to. So I work early before, you know, I'm at work prior to when um, Toys R Us opens. So I, I went at lunch and I thought, great, I still have a shop because one per customer and minimum 25. And I live in a big city, so they have to have more than 25. No. <laughs> I went in at lunch and they're gone. I don't know how they they sold out so quickly. They even had that sign up saying Lucario now available. And I, I was all excited, and then, no, they weren't there. So I had to resort to eBay on this one, sadly, and I paid a bit of money for him, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> so anyways, I paid 40 bucks for him, uh, free shipping, and it's more than I wanted to pay, but I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. 40 bucks. Next up, also paid $40 for this one, Shulk. And this is another character I wanted to get, and it was hard to get. <laughs> In my area, this guy sells for $70. Lucario's around $60, so I figured $40 is fair. And you know what? Sometimes you have to bite the bullet if you want these harder-to-find characters. Uh, just like with video games, uh, if you want the, the 
harder to find video games, you have to shell out the cash. I will say though, I spent 40 on each. I buy and sell on eBay all the time, just like a lot of other people do. And these two came out of profit from eBay sales. So really, I didn't pay anything for them, but technically I paid $40 a piece, <laughs> if that makes sense. So anyways, those are all the Amiibos I picked up in the last little while. And I'm looking forward to the next wave. I don't have any of them pre-ordered yet because they're not available for pre-order. But I'm sure they'll sell out in like the next five minutes, right? Um, anyways, until next time, take care.